hello good day to everyone welcome to mathematics lessons made easy with teacher phoebe okay so for today we're going to have the part two of our discussion all about linear inequality in one variable okay so just a sort of recall balikan natin yung exercise which i told you to work on and nagbigay ako ng apat na exercise tama okay so the first one is this one okay so on and so forth and let me explain to you um, yung binaka answer na lang siguro just to check uh, kung tama yung gawa ninyo sa sarili ninyo for number one we're going to have a is um, less than two okay so yan yung dapat na sagot natin you'll have one point for that already and um, yung ating set okay yung solution set natin is that will be uh, yung mga numbers na mababa sa 2 mga numbers na mababa sa 2 is 1 0 negative 1 so papunta tayo doon sa kaliwa okay this is negative 1 ha negative 1 so, and then um, negative 2 then we have negative 3 so on and so forth and then um, close your set in a brace Okay. For number 2, B is greater than 5. So, what are those numbers na mataas kay 5? We are going to have um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. Okay. And then, close your set in a brace. For number 3, C is greater than or equal to 5. So, kung paano naging 5, you may just um, go back get, uh, go back to the video and watch it again. Apply the property. So, our C, mga numbers na equal kay 5 at mataas kay 5. So, um, pinakamababa na si 5. Okay, so, pinakamababa si 5, the 5, kasama si 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on and so forth. And then, close your set in a brace. Okay, do not forget to always write your ellipses for number 4. We are going to have... Uh, M is less than or equal to 18. So, yung mga numbers na uh, kasama si 18 at pambaba kay 18. So, ibig sabihin, pinakamataas na si 18. Kung pinakamataas na si 18, therefore, papunta tayo doon. Okay? 18. Then, we have 17. Then, we have 16. Um, 15. 14. Um ellipses for so on and so forth kasi ang dami pang numbers na mababa kay 18 diba actually kasama pa si negative dot then close your set in a brace so that will be your final answers for the exercise which I gave you sa part 1 okay so let us have um, the following exercises I mean more examples in solving 2 step or maybe baka maka encounter tayo ng 3 step inequality so, let's have number 1, 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 5. Now, let us uh, show, let me present to you the solution. Okay, so copy, um, copy 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 5. So, 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 5. And then, we have to remove this minus 4 by API. So, by API, mag plus 4 tayo dito at mag plus 4 din tayo dito. So, syempre, this will be cancelled. Ang matitira natin ay si um, 3x na lang. And then, copy is less than or equal to then 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Okay? And then, you are not yet done. Kasi, una, nag-apply ka pa lang ng tinatawag nating API. Then, next, you have to apply um, DPI. DPI kasi mapapansin mo na si 3 ay katabi ni X and you know that the implied operation is multiplication. So, by DPI, divide by 3, divide by 3, this will be 1 or simply we're just only going to write down X na lang kasi 3 divided by 3 is 1 and you all know that um, X here as has an invisible numerical coefficient of 1 and we don't need to write it na. Then, so X na lang is less than or equal to 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, therefore, if you have x is less than or equal to 3, um, eto na yung cue mo kung ano yung magiging mga sagot mo kasi ang sagot mo is a set. Therefore, writing down, ipinapahiwatig nito na ano daw yung mga values ng variables, na, variables mo na mababa kay 3 or kaparehas ni 3. So, ibig sabihin, 
pinakamataas si 3. So, kung pinakamataas si 3, doon mo siya sa dulo ilalagay kasi magsusulat ka ng mga numero na mababa pa kay 3. Kita nyo yung symbol na to? Yan, ipinapahiwatig niya na papunta ka doon ngayon sa kaliwa sa pagsusulat mo ng mga values. Okay? So, you're going to write 2, 1, 0. Okay, hindi lang naman, di ba? You still have negative numbers which are less than 3. So, you have to write uh, sabi ko nga, at least uh, mga 5 lang, pwede na yun. Okay, so negative 1. Um, I-recall nyo yung number line. Di ba sa number line natin? 0 yung nasa gitna. To the right of 0 are positive integers. To the left of 0 are negative integers. So, dahil papunta tayo sa kaliwa, therefore, uh, maglalagay ka ng ellipses kasi napakadami pang numbers na mababa kay 3. Okay? And then, close your answer, close your set in a brace. And this is your final answer. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. Number 2, we have 5x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 9. Okay? So, to show our solution, copy 5x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 9. So, copy 5x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 9. And we have to remove plus 4 by the A SPI. Okay, so by SPI, okay, mag-minus tayo. So, minus 4, minus 4. Okay, so plus 4, uh, positive 4 and negative 4 it will be automatically cancelled kasi magiging 0 na yun. So, what remains is yung 5x na lang. Copy is greater than or equal to 9 plus 4 is 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay, so 9 minus 4 is 5. And then, uh, still, you have here sa x mo ay may katabing 5. Therefore, you have to remove it by DPI. Bakit DPI? Kasi the invisible operation between 5 and x is multiplication. So, we have to divide 5 and then divide by 5 here. So, what remains is x na lang. Kasi 5 divided by 5 is simply 1. x is greater than or equal to 5 divided by 5 is 1. Alright? And then, uh, so, ito pa lang yung magiging Q natin. So, if x is greater than or equal to 1, ano ngayon yung mga numbers na equal or mataas kay 1? Ano-ano ngayon yung mga numbers na equal kay 1 or mataas kay 1? So, uh, we're going to have, ibig sabihin, uh, pinakamababa na yung 1. So, kung pinakamababa na yung 1, 1 pataas, papunta doon sa kanan. So, you see this um, symbol here, ibig sabihin, tinuturo ka niya papunta doon sa kanan. Ibig sabihin, yung isusulat mo ang mga numbers ay kasama si 1, comma, 2, 3, 4, um, 5, and then so on and so forth. And then, do not forget to close your set in a base. And that's your final answer for number 2. For number 3, I have here x out of 3 plus 4 is greater than 5. Okay, so to show our solution, copy x out of 3 plus 4 is greater than 5. So, copy x out of 3 plus 4 is greater than 5. Okay, now you will see here na merong dalawang operation, di ba? You have here plus 4 and you have here 3. So, unahin natin tanggalin yung may addition or subtraction muna bago tayo magtanggal ng nasa denominator. Okay? So, kung plus 4 yung nakita nyo, edi working backwards, di mag-minus 4 ka. Kung nag-minus 4 ka sa kaliwa, edi mag-minus 4 ka din sa kanan. So, those will be cancelled. And then, do not forget, you have to copy still your x out of 3 kasi hey, hindi, ta hindi tayo pwedeng, hindi natin pwedeng sabay na um, i-apply yung property. We have to take the property one at a time. We have to apply the property one at a time. So, is greater than 5 minus uh, 4 is 1. So, it will be your ano. Then, continue on solving. X out of 3 is greater than 1. So, kailangan para matanggal natin si 3 dito. At fraction siya, kanina, nag-apply tayo ng SPI. Now, what we are going to apply is MPI. By MPI, di magmultiply tayo both sides of the inequality. So, mag-times tayo dito ng 3 mag-times tayo dito ng 3. And then, 3, i-times mo sa x, that will be 3x. I-divide mo sa 3, syempre, <laughs> makakancel na yung 3 uh, out of 3 kasi 3 divided by 3 simply 1 or x na lang greater than 
is greater than 1 times 3 is 3. Okay? So, ito na yung Q natin. Ano yung mga numbers na yun na mataas kay 3? So, mata pat mataas kay 3, papunta tayo sa kanan, di ba? Ayan, kikita mo naman yung symbol na tinuturo kanya papunta sa kanan. Okay? So, ang mga numbers na mataas kay 3 ay 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so on and so forth. And uh, that's your answer. Okay? So, remember, lagi tayo maglalagay ng ellipsis kasi nga, um, we still have a lot of numbers that are greater than 3. Hindi lang naman um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ang dami pa. Pwedeng 10, 100, so on and so forth. Okay? Let's have the following. X out of 2 minus 1 is less than 1. Okay, to show our solution, let's have the following. Alright, so copy x out of 2 minus 1 is less than 1. Okay, so tanggalin natin si minus 1 by API. So by API, edi mag plus 1 ka lang dito, mag plus 1 ka lang din dito. Therefore, this will be cancelled. Ang matitira na lang natin ay si x out of 2. Then copy is less than 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, and then, copy x out of 2 is less than 2. Kinakailangan natin matanggal si out of 2 dito, yung nasa denominator, by what property? By MPI. So, by MPI, we have to multiply both sides of the inequality by 2. Okay, and then, syempre, yung 2, pag tinimes natin sa x, that will be 2x, i-divide mo kay 2. Ang matitira na lang natin ay x is less than 2 times 2, that is 4. So, ano ngayon yung mga numbers na mabababa kay 4? So, papapansin mo naman yung symbol mo, ayan o, okay? Tinuturo ka niya papunta sa kaliwa, so therefore, mga numbers na mababa kay 4 ay 3,2,1,0, negative 1. Okay? So, ang galima lang ha? And then, doon tayo magsuso on and so forth, papunta sa kaliwa. Kasi papunta sa kaliwa yung mga numero mabababa natin. Alright? And that's your final answer. For last example. Okay, so 3z out of 5 plus 3 is less than 9. So, I think this is a 3-step solving inequality. Kasi meron tayong 3 times. Naka-out of siya, so may divide, and then naka-plus 3 pa. So, this is a 3-step solving inequality. But anyways, don't you worry. We'll solve that. Alright, so copy 3z. Copy 3z out of 5 plus 3 is less than 9. So, unahin natin yung mga... Tatandaan nyo na unahin natin lagi yung may plus or minus. And then, saka tayo mag-divide. Saka natin ihuhuli yung times. Okay? Remove plus 3 here with SPI. So, by SPI, edi mag-minus 3 tayo. Mag-minus 3 tayo sa kanan. So, this will be already cancelled kasi 0 na yun. So, what remains is your 3x out of 5 is less than 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay? And then, syempre, um, ang sunod natin gagawin is copy 3x out of 5 is less than 6. Kailangan natin matanggal si um, out of 5 yung nasa ilalim by what property? By MPI. So, mag-times tayo by 5 dito sa kaliwa. Mag-times din tayo ng 5 dito sa kanan. Okay? So, this will be already cancelled kasi although pwede naman natin ituloy, sige ituloy natin 5 times 3, that is 15x divided by copy lang natin yung denominator natin na 5, then is less than or equal to 6 times 5 is 30. Now, simplify 15x divided by 5, 15 divided by 5 is 3 or simply 3x na lang. So you see, parang bumalik lang tayo doon sa una. <laughs> Pwede nyo naman i-automatic cancel yun para hindi na humaba yung solution ninyo. 
okay, is less than 30. Now, you will see here na si x ay may katabi pang 3 and we have to remove it by si 3 at saka x ay magkatabi. The implied operation is multiplication and to remove it, we're going to apply DPI by dividing both sides of the inequality by 3. So, divide by 3, cancel na to kasi 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, therefore, you're going to have x is less than 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay, so ano ngayon yung mga numbers na mabababa kay 10? We're going to have 9. Okay, dito ko na nalita ko lang siguro. 8, 7, so on and so forth. Content ko na lang ha. Okay, so yan yung sagot natin for number 5. Okay, as for your exercise, you may try to work on the following. And I hope you learned a lot in this lesson. Um, thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, if uh, Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, share this with your um, um, classmates no harang school year to everyone who can help this um, video a lot. That will be all. Bye-bye. God bless. Mwah.